Hello and welcome, this is Mr. Siege, and today our saviour has landed. Gonzalo de Cordoba is here on the Wheel of Fortune. I won't be expertise in him today, but I'm going to get them both to 5511. That's, uh, that's Cordoba and Garja Marda. Uh, we're going to have a look at uh, Cordoba's talent tree, and we're going to check out their skill animation, and believe me, they're good. There'll be no testing today, guys, um, but we're going to look at that tomorrow. We're going to do testing at 5511 first for you guys that aren't going to put many heads into these commanders. We'll try epic gear, legendary gear, and do some real thorough testing with these new commanders. We're going to try every single pairing for engineering in the game. But without further ado, let's go on to this video. Please subscribe, throw a like, and enjoy. So here he is, Gonzalo de Cordoba on the Wheel of Fortune. I've been looking forward to this guy. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to using him in the field. Like I said, we're going to do some real thorough testing results. But uh, let's get him on lot first and uh, wish me wish me luck here. I need some I need some luck on the wheel. Okay, there we go. We've got two heads already. That's nice. I don't usually like the Wheel of Fortune. I find it really bad value for gems. I mean, you can use a lot of gems on this. Uh, another couple, that's nice. Another few few more, yeah, good. Uh, that's six so far. And we can open these chests. Another five, that's 11. And obviously five gold heads. I won't really count those. Just look at how many gems are left. Got 30, 30k left. So let's blast for a few more. I'm not going to use them all today. That's 12. Well, that's a nice one. That's 10 in one go. Perfect. That's 22. 23, 24. Looking pretty decent. 24 is not too bad so far. 25, 26. And this takes us to 36. And... That's actually not too bad for, what, 30k gems I've, I've used? Yeah, not too bad at all. So, let's get him summoned. Yeah, there you go, 36 gold heads. So that's going to help out a little bit. Um, still not going to be enough to max Gorgia Marder as well. So yeah, a couple on the first skill. There we go. And let's get him going. Get those stars up. Yep. Got quite a few stars. Been saving up for a while. I mean, I'm, like I say, I'm pretty much free to play, almost. Um, obviously, I'm spending a bit on these commanders. A bit for content, but, you know, these, these are what I really, really want. So, it's worth it. So, yeah, you get a lot of stars saved up because you're not going to be maxing many commanders, to be honest. You get the odd one to to level 60 but I don't I don't do many to be honest so yeah I've managed to save plenty up for these I've probably even got enough stars for the next engineer commanders coming out to be honest with you um, so yeah it's nice and um, we're getting there slowly it takes a bit of time this does doesn't it so while we're doing this I want to talk about Garja Marda and, and basically no accessory. So, obviously I had a bit of thinking and delving into this new accessory, the Immolating Plume. And obviously this triggers on your, you know, direct damage skills, like either smite or direct, you know, your, your skill damage. Um, so the issue with Garge and Marder, when you expertise him, he has this small, 200 direct damage factor um, on his expertise that's obviously extra onto his, his third or fourth skill, I can't remember which now. And that's actually going to have a bit of an impact on how the Immolating Plume works. So you really want the Immolating Plume to pop off on these guys' main skills. Uh, obviously Cordoba does the 2400 
uh, AOE damage and gosh models the increase in damage over time so really we want that to the emulating plume to pop off on Cordoba's first skill however you can't guarantee this and if your expertise guards your marder you could be getting that 30% extra damage um, on his expertise skill of 200 direct damage factor which obviously is pretty pants so it's a good reason not to expertise him i don't think his expertise is that great you get an extra 10 percent normal range damage which is is good but i don't think it's major especially because I, I do want this immolating plume um and I think it could be really, really good. I love the fact that it's 50% chance of popping off. So let's go into Cordoba's uh, skill tree. This is a must-have at the top of engineering tree. Um, and then we'll look into the attack tree. And just going through, Lord of War, fight to the death. Yeah, 2% more damage isn't bad. Just going to have a look through his counter-attack is always good on these commanders because you'll be doing a lot of that uh, yeah victory charge yeah I like that and you'll see here I've actually run out of talent points so I've got two more left and between me and you you might have even noticed on the video I haven't finished putting my tomes into him so I haven't even got to level 60 yet I got to 50 did the stars and then went straight to the talent tree so I'll be coming back to complete this in a minute once obviously I've realized in uh, in the game so yeah I did this this morning didn't have a chance to make the video I I just sort of recorded it and yeah now we're now now we're going through it properly so yeah, look, I've realised. So here we go. We put the tomes in. And let's get him to level 60. And then we can finish off the talent tree. Sorry about that, guys. So, yes. We we, we want these swift manoeuvres on the engineering tree. Because, believe me, the speed and siege commanders really does matter. Like, you're going to want good mobility on the open field. You're not going to be doing one-on-ones. So, I think I think manoeuvrability on the field. Some people will say, "Oh, but you should have took that talent. You should have done more. You could do more damage." I mean, you're going to do great damage anyway. You have a great damage output, but you want speed on the on the field. And I think this is the way you go with it. So we've got to uh, cut over to five five one one. Let's try and find Gajamada and we'll get him to 5511 and then we're going to look at the skill an animation. There we go. Get up to two because we're going we're gonna to max those first two skills anyway. There's no point doing one after the other. And let's see how many heads we're left with after this. Obviously, I've been saving up heads for quite a while now for these two new commanders to drop. And like I said, I, I'm not going to max Garja Mod at this point. Um, even after the 5511 testing, I don't think. Because I, I don't want it to be affected by the Immolating Plume and not be as successful as it can be. These commanders, I'm pretty sure you could even run them at 5111 and you're going to get good trades still. As long as you're staying away from the enemies and you're just firing into the, into the murder balls, you're going to do well. Five five one one's a lot better. You got the extra health on on Gajamada. and yeah, that's just that. So let's get these guys out individually, um, and let's look at the skill animation because, but well, listen, it is, it is good. I, I like it. To be fair, and I've just realised I have not got my done my armament so we're not even in v formation so returning back and we'll get both of these in v formation just go for my saved armaments you know we have a we have a best slot and a second best slot um we might need we're gonna need a third set soon i guess 
well, I guess we'll be looking at another year's time. I'll be looking at my third set of uh, Siege gear. And my t two sets are pretty decent. So let's get Core Dobrat first. Obviously the man that does it, AoE. Lord Farquad on steroids, guys. Lord Farquad on steroids. He's going to be an absolute machine. So let's set him up. Let's just hit a barb. Plenty of AP to waste. And we'll get Gajamada over this way. Just to speed things up a little bit. He looks cool. The mighty Gajamada. So let's take a look. This is Gonzalo de Cordoba. With his lovely red hat. Rage building up slowly. And are you ready for this? Look at those muskets. That's nice. I think that's cool. And to you barbarians, don't bring a knife to a gunfight, guys. Because you're getting slaughtered. I mean, this is just one commander who's hitting some barbs, but he's doing all right, look. I just wanted to see the animation. That's good. I like it. And, yeah, let's take him back to the city. That was pretty awesome. And, and let's take a look at Gaja Marder. Let's see if this is just as cool. I'm sure it'll be even better when they're together. Just about ready to pop. Rage is at the top. Ooh. An elephant statue. That's kind of cool. I like it. Like a, a flower and a flower opening with an elephant in the middle. Yeah. I'll go with that. That's alright. It's, it's very pretty. So, yeah, we're going, going for the bob. We don't really need to look at the bob reports. It's um, They're just bobs. We're going to do some real good testing tomorrow, guys. Some real good testing. We're going to have a look at the AoE as well. Um, I'm, I'm interested in the distance and the AoE as well, how, how far it spreads. So we'll, we'll test that too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's not a full test. It's coming tomorrow. It's going to be great. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Bye-bye.